What up, what up, what up, what up, though? It's your boy Travis, aka Mr. Clark Scent, aka Mr. President Scent, aka the Quintessential Sentinel. For the entire month of February, I decided to only wear black fragrance houses. It's 28 days, I wanted to try and do 28 different fragrances, not repeat the same fragrances at any point. I came so close, I failed though. I came so close, I had 26 distinct different fragrances from black perfumers and black fragrance houses. I didn't get the last two, I, I thought I was trying, I was trying so hard to try and figure out where to get them. Couldn't find any in time. Today what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm just gonna do a quick review over all 26 different fragrances that I wore this month. And, I'm, and since it's 26 fragrances, I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible so we don't be here all night. I'm gonna start off with celebrity fragrances first and then move into the niche. All right, so here we go. First fragrance I'm gonna talk about. This is gonna be very quick because everybody knows what this is. This is Unforgivable by Sean John. This has been compared to Millicene Imperial by Creed. It's a fresh citrus opening, a um, little woody. It smells really great. Everybody, you got, this came out like 2005. So if you guys haven't smelled this one, I don't know where you've been hiding under a rock, but it's been out forever. So this is a staple, this is an OG. Get it, it smells great. Everybody swears by it, women love it. Don't need to talk about it anymore. The next celebrity fragrance I'm gonna talk about is by the, some people call him the greatest basketball player of all time. And it is Michael Jordan Cologne. This one is a little bit different than the other ones that I've smelled from his, his line. Um, it's a, a warm, light, airy type of cologne. Very masculine, very mass appealing. A lot of his other ones are kind of very fruity. This one isn't. This one is, has like top notes of cypress, uh, geranium with lavender and sandalwood in the base. This is one is a good fragrance. This is a quick spray and go. Not bad. Not great, but a good cheap. Next, let's go back to the house of Sean John. We're gonna talk about I Am King. I think this one came out in 2009. This is a one, one ounce. It's got a real quick from Amazon. Um, it's a good fragrance, not bad. You know what I get in the opening? Mm. A lot of orange, very orange heavy at the top. Uh, it's a clean fragrance, very fresh, straight out, the, out the, the shower. You wear this, you smell good, you keep it moving. Good work, scent. Next, I'm gonna go with Ursher Heat. You know what I love about this one? What I love about this one is this tap. This tap. It's, a, it's, it's made like one of the rings he wears or something like that. But this top is pretty dope. This is a good alternative to Green Irish Tweet. This is a good spring scent. I'll probably be wearing this in a couple weeks um, during my, you know, during the springtime. Quick spray and go. Smells like Green Irish Tweet. Smells good. Um, I think they even made the bottle like that black. You know what I mean? That little matted black type. It came out, I think, like 2007, a while ago, but it smells really nice. I think it smells more cool waterish um, than me. Then, then it's like a mix between. It's not necessarily green Irish tweed, but not necessarily cool water. It's like in the middle of it. You know, uh, it smells great though. If you like cool water, you like green Irish tweed, you like this Usher. I'm gonna go back to MJ real quick. This is 23, this is 23 by Michael Jordan. This one, this one, this one was okay. Actually, it's not that great to me. This is like, uh, it's very citrusy. It's almost like all citrus notes they got in it. It smells like, like cleaner, like bathroom cleaner or something like that. I'm not that fond of it. Some people, I, I, some people may like it. It's, it's too generic, too synthetic. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, this is probably a gym, something I wear in the gym. It's all, I don't even wear, wear fragrances at the gym, but I, I, you know, this is $9 or something like that. I, this is a cheapy. I don't particularly care for that one. I'm going to go with the worst Sean John that I smelled was 3 a.m. by Sean John. I didn't particularly care for this one. It was weird because it's like a, a cardamom at the top note. Usually cardamom is like in the mid, maybe at the base, not really the top note. Um, so they kind of flipped it. So they put cardamom at the top, the geranium, and then they have tonic. Like that's what really throws me off. I'm not a big tonic water drink. I mean, tonic water, like a gin and tonic, that's not me. So maybe that's why I don't really particularly care for this fragrance. Um, it's, it's, it's weird to me. 
Needless to say, I wasn't happy when I had to wear this one, but I mean, it's not, it's not like some of the other ones I'm going to get to, uh, but whatever. Oh, well, I need to talk about the worst Jordan one. Jordan by Michael. I, I even hate the name Jordan by Michael. I, I don't like the name of this. Like this, it, it's kind of weird. It has that, um, it's, it, if it's like, it's almost like if you took the, the Mugler cologne, the, the, the rubber off the Mugler cologne bottles, that's what it looked like to me, that like this would be under, like this, it, it's a weird sprayer. Like, let's see how quickly it, dro it, it dropped. I don't like this one. This one, I, I, I hate it. It wasn't blended well. It smells like cheap like shower gel, you know, like just something that you get from Walmart to get the bottom of it. Like, it's just, I didn't like this one at all. Not a good fragrance to me. I, was, I wasn't happy wearing that one. All right, and the last designer I had was Sean John. That's just it, Sean John. This is a sweet, modern fragrance. It's a little bit different than other ones. The other ones were light and airy. This one has some depth to it. This one reminded me of like, uh, like it would be in the, in the, the vein of one million. Um, it has, it's, it's a little sweet. It's, um, yeah, it has that, that, that one million, Lucky, not not lucky, excuse me. Like one million type vibe to it. Um, it's, it's pretty dope. It's a warm fragrance. It has a little bit of citrus at the top. I think it has like nutmeg and uh, cardamom is in this in the mid. Um, a little bit of citrus at the top, but that, that wears off. But when I first smelled it, I was like, oh shoot, I like this. Wore it a few times. I mean, wore it once. Excuse me. I wore it once, and I wanted to wear it again. So I'm probably gonna be wearing this uh, this spring to get a couple wearings with Usher. I like this one. Those were all of the celebrity fragrances I wore. Now we're gonna get into some of the niche ones. Uh, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was eight, that's eight of them. So we got another 18 to go. All right, here we go. So let's start with Chris Collins. Uh, this one is Dance Savage, all right? I only had the decant because I got this discovery pack and um, each one of his is like $160, and I just haven't, haven't pulled the trigger on his, his yet. I've had these for a while, I actually wore these. Um, I take these, travel with these, and wear these a lot, um, a few times, I should say. Um, not bad, this Dance Sauvage is like uh, one of my favorites from his, his line. This has cognac, amber, plum, and cardamom in this uh, in Dance Sauvage. Really like this fragrance. This one was a pretty dope fragrance. It, um, it doesn't, if you, if you hear the name, you might think it's a, a, a Sauvage. It doesn't smell like Sauvage at all. It's a mature fragrance. I mean, I don't know how to, else to explain it, man. Um, that cognac and that, that cardamom sits in there. As you can tell, I kind of like cardamom, but I don't like it in weird spots. I like this fragrance, Dan Sauvage. This one I was pleasantly surprised with. Um, dope fragrance. Next. Now, this collection, this, this next one, is another sample I, I purchased from uh, the Cartwright Fragrance Collection. They actually hit me up and said, hey, you know, we're black owned. Cause I had put a couple out there, you know, on my Instagram and some of the Facebook groups that I, what I was doing. And I was looking for help. I had reached out for everybody to, you know, tell me about different fragrance houses. And this one came to me, uh, they came up to me and said, hey, you know, you know, we're a black fragrance house. You guys have samples? And they said, yeah. I got, I paid the guys for four of their eight samples. They have eight. Four for women, one unisex, I believe, and then three men. I think that's how it goes. Um, but this one right here, um, Pineapple Mist. This one is a pretty, this one's pretty dope, man. I, I think it leans more feminine to me, though. I see a woman pulling this off, even though I wore it. It's unisex. It is very pineapple heavy. It's not the pineapple that you get in, like, what's that, a vintage. It's not like that at all. It's a different take on pineapple. It's a sweet pineapple fragrance. It's pretty dope. Um, if you like citrus fragrances, this one is pretty good. I'm gonna stay in the gourmand territory. And I'm going to go with Dimple by Kimberly New York. Now Kimberly New York is all over the place. You know, you guys have seen her in Essence magazine. You've seen her in all these different uh, magazines. People talking about her, about her different fragrances. Hers has an artistic take on it. This one, Dimple, is mint chocolate. That's it. Like there's no, there's, no, there's nothing else to say about it. It's like mint and it's chocolate, right? That's it. To me, that's all I get. Um, I will say this. This one, I like, it's a dark chocolate, excuse me. It's mint and dark chocolate, all right? 
um, when I sprayed this the first time, it like tickled my nose. I was like, oh shoot. Like, mm. I was like, ah. It's like, ah. But then as it dried down, you just got the mint chocolate. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. No fragrance. It is a little, it is a little strong though. So to go light on the sprays with this one, to me. It's, it, it can be a little strong to you. But mint chocolate. Dimple by Kimberly, New York. This is by the House of Lanique. It's called Noir, all right? About the House of Lanique, their fragrances are very earthy. All of their eau de parfums have like organic wheat alcohol. Like it's different, like, so it has that earthy feel to it. This one is a darker fragrance for them, um, even though the juice is light. Um, it has like juniper, clear sage, and bergamot are the notes that they have in this. Um, I didn't get a lot of citrus. But I did get the clary sage and the juniper. Those two things, I, it come off strong. So though, and it's, it's, this is very artistic as well. Um, I don't, I think, I mean, it was okay. First time I sprayed it, I, I gotta, you know what, I'm gonna go to the next one. Cause the first time I sprayed it was after I sprayed this one. Vetiver by um, House of Lenny. Uh, fam. No. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. No. Like, this one it was my least favorite of what I had to wear this month. Uh, they actually, I think they discontinued it. Ah, oh, woo. Yeah. This one is, is earthy. It's like dirt. Like, it's it's like, it's not the vetiver that you guys are used to. It's the vetiver under, it's like the vetiver root or something like that with dirt in it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't work with it. Uh, this was not my favorite one out of the group. I actually, I went and looked on the, on, on the site and it's actually down, taken down. Like, I don't think they can sell this one anymore. Um, it has patchouli, vetiver, and cedarwood. I don't see any, it's just not a good one. So we will go to one that I like. You guys saw this, we talk about this one all the time. Ovation for men. Dope fragrance. I really like this fragrance. Um, this was actually the first black owned fragrance house that I have ever bought. I mean, it's a great scent, man. I have a whole review on this one. Check it out. It's sophisticated, creamy. I get compliments every time I wear this thing. Um, it projects dope fragrance. So let's go back to one another house that we went to, which was the, uh, the Cartwright Fragrance Collection. And this is gold. Gold is a masculine scent. It's kind of cool, kind of citrus as, as what I get from this. Um, reminds me, it's one of those ones you get out of the got get out of the shower wearing. This is this is one of the ones that that was a clean scent that I actually liked a lot. Um, but yeah, the the Cartwright from I mean Cartwright fragrance collection did a good job with this one. I like this one. Go keep track of all the ones I've talked about. Oh, All right, now we are getting down to the nitty gritty. Echelon by Kimberly, New York. All right, I bought this one was the one, two, third black fragrance house I bought, and I bought it last year. Um, I bought Obasi first, I bought some Savoy Fair second, and I think I got, I might have got, I think I got this one or the Chris Collins that are on the same time. I'm not sure which one, the Discovery Pack, I can't remember which one. But I bought this one and I sprayed it and I wasn't a fan of it. I wasn't. I have a like-hate relationship with this thing. Alright? I like hate. And I love hate, like hate. When I and I didn't wear it. I mean I sprayed it. I was like, dang, I was like, ah, it kinda smells like often. I was like, ah, I don't like it. It's not, it's not, it's not really for me. Um, so I didn't wear it for like a long time. So when I had to do this challenge, I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna wear it. And I sprayed it on, and it was like, no. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> and I sprayed it on my skin, and it's like, it's not bad. It's not a word today, and you know, was fine with it. And you know, it's like, all right, it's not bad. And, you know, I thought it was I thought it was worse than what it is. So it's not a bad fragrance. I but at certain times when I smell it, I like uh, so, funny story. I had all these fragrances out, you know, in my room, and my girlfriend came by and she just started picking up my bottle, smelling different ones. And she got to this one. I said, like, I like this one. I was like, huh? I was like, which one did you look at? And she like, this one. I like this one. And I, I just thought to myself, like, oh, well, Kimberly knows what women like, I guess, because <laughs> my girlfriend liked this one. I was just like, uh, out of all those, like, that's one of the ones you like, huh? She was like, yeah, I like that one. I was like, all right. 
So, that's Ken, uh, Echelon, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Echelon by Kimberly New York. So, and you got a compliment on it. Uh, my favorite from the House of the Meek is this one. Uh, Slate. Um, I like this one. This one is artistic different than anything I have in my collection. Um, it's it's kind of warm, a little spicy. It has like pepper, frankincense. It's, it's different. It's, it's This one I like. I like the mixture of it. I like the, the, the smoothness of it. It's kind of warm, kind of spicy. I like this one um, by the House of the Nick Slate. There's, some, there's, a, there's a note in here I can't pick up on that, that keeps me like, it kind of reminds me of, um, I don't want. I, I kind of want to say Florida, but I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I know it's Florida because I've smelt it when I was down in Florida with you know, visiting family, and I'm just not sure what that is. Slate by House of I like that one. Speaking of Florida, I'm gonna go with this one. Zaddies by Vero. All right. I don't know how I found out about Zaddies. Either somebody po um, posted it on Instagram and said, "Hey, they're Black Fragrance House," and said, "You need to check them out." I was like, all right, well, you know, like most of them, I was like, all right, I'm just cool, curious about what it's gonna smell like. Yo, thing. When I opened this up and, and smelt it, this is some good juice. I like this one. As you can tell by the bottle, it's green, so you can guess. It's a green fragrance. It's a green woody fragrance. It has like bergamot in the top, vetiver in the middle, uh, with like this cream, this creamy cedar tonka bean type um, base. This is really good, man. I love this fragrance, actually. This one's really dope. I like this one a lot. I mean, that's Vero by Zabby's. Another Chris Collins, Harlem Nights. It's like a powdery, patchouli, rum fragrance. This one, I think this one, this one actually, I'm not gonna say I think, this one is my favorite one. This one is the one I'm gonna get a full bottle of from Chris Collins. I'm gonna order this one because I want this one in my collection. Simple as that. It is Harlem Nights by Chris Collins. Go for it. Let's round it out. Let's round Chris out. Chris Collins, uh, Renaissance. Not the biggest fan of this one. This one kind of smells older. It has an old, and I guess that's, you know, Renaissance. You think Renaissance is you know, about the, you know, oldness. Like Renaissance, uh, Harlem Renaissance, you think about it, which is like in the 30s or 40s. You think about uh, Vinci and all of them, that's the Renaissance. Back in the, don't give me the line. I don't know. I don't know when it I, I, whatever, I'm cutting that part. It's like warm ginger and honey. It's ginger and honey. It's it's not bad, but it's kind of older. It's kind of more distinguished. It's kind of more for older gentlemen. I, I'm not a big fan of it because it's just older. So we're down to the last five, no, last six. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, this one is Mr. Cartwright by Cartwright Fragrance Collection. It's a clean smell. Uh, this one, I, you know, it's okay. It's just clean. It's just nice spray. It's that soapy, clean type fragrance. Uh, nothing to write home about. It was just, you know, shower gel, fresh out, fresh out the shower. This one didn't really blow me away. It was just okay. From the House of Neat, this is Doom. I was kind of disappointed in Doom because I saw it say it had lime, rose, patchouli. Lime and patchouli I love. I do not like rose. But that organic um, flair that they got just didn't really sit well with me. Like I just didn't particularly care for it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. The openings of uh, House of Lanique aren't the best. Um, I, maybe it's because they're using that uh, that organic wheat alcohol. But when it dry, you got to let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. They dry down and everything to get that alcoholic, that harshness out. And once that happens, you'll get the full fragrance. Uh, I thought it would be more citrus and patchouli, lime and patchouli. That was kind of interesting to me with rose. And I just never got well, what what I what I thought. It I, it just couldn't. It just didn't. Uh, this one wasn't my, uh, my favorite. I was I was really interested in that one, but that one was kind of I don't know. It just didn't hit. Oh, uh, so we'll go to. Essence of Me by B Fragrance. This one is, um, this one caught me by surprise a couple times. This one is like, uh, as you can see, it's blue, so guess what it is? It's one of those blue shower gel type fragrance. Kind of sophisticated, a little bit of sweetness to it too. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, fresh, citrus, safe scent. Not bad. Um, 
This is one of the ones, I don't, I don't think I can get a lot of wearings out of it because I got so many stuff that's blue that, um, but when I'm in the mood for it, um, something with a little bit of a twist, a little bit of sweetness. There's something in here that, um, I need to look up the notes on this, but there's something in here that is, um, that's a little different, that puts a little twist on it. That's not bad, but it's not distinct enough for me to, you know, but, ah, my favorite, you know, it's, it's a, it's a good fragrance. I like it. Uh, I'll probably wear it a couple times. It's me in the collection. Something I'll grab, I'm like, ooh, I wanna wear Essence of Me when I really wanna, you know, just do a quick grab and go. All right, uh, what do we got? Three left. All right, three left. Uh, so we'll start with Blanc. This one was my second favorite, Blanc. This one seemed more feminine to me uh, by House of Lenny, once again, because I got five from House of Lenny, so uh, it says Jasmine, Amber, and something called Tulu, Tolu Balsam, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a flowery fragrance. There's a little bit of green in there. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good fragrance. I think it's more suited for females, uh, women. And I would like to smell my woman wearing this. Next is Savoir Fair. Really like this fragrance, all right? This one is, this one's different. This one's artistic. This one has tomato leaf and leather at the top, right? This one, I, I'm gonna do a full review on this one, but this one reminds me of somebody who is like a hipster, you know what I mean? Like somebody who is, uh, wears a, you know, will have a flannel shirt on with some uh, slim jeans and some hard bottoms on, you know what I mean? Like rolled up, rolled up flannel with a big beard. So when I wanna get my hipster bag, this is what I pull out, you know what I mean? When, I, when I'm in that mode, if I wanna have like a, if you're going outside, outdoors, go for it. Really like this. I'm gonna do a full review on this one. I like this one. And then we got finally Mr. Cartwright 2. Uh, I thought y'all could have came up with a better name for that one because you know, Mr. Cartwright, Mr. Cartwright 2. You know, this is my favorite of the Cartwright fragrance collection. This one I, I liked a lot. I probably reaching out to them to purchase. It's a it's a clean fragrance. Um, kind of sophisticated. Kind of, uh, it's really well blended. I can't think of the notes right now. Um, that tells you it's blended pretty well. But um, it's a little citrus, yeah. Not a bad fragrance. Um, I'm gonna wanna get a, a big bottle on So those are the 26. I'm gonna tell you what my favorite out of the groups are. Number seven, Mr. Cartwright. Uh, two, excuse me, Mr. Cartwright two. That was, that was it. That's number seven. Number six. Ursher. Number five, Sean John. Number four, Savoir Faire. Number four. Number three, Harlem Nights by Chris Collins. Number two, Vero by Zabby's. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what my number one is. It's the one I talk about the most. Ovation by Sean, by Sean Crenshaw. All right. You know, I actually wore this one uh, Valentine's night. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, um, hit the notification button. Follow me on Instagram at It's Quintessential. Till then, see you guys next time.